a Grammy-winning recording artist. She is an actress and so much more, but she's also an allergy sufferer, and that's why Kelly Rowland, you know her from Destiny's Child, of course, and if you watch Empire, you've seen her there. She is joining us, and with you is Dr. Jonathan Field. Jonathan Field is somebody I've been a big fan of. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just meeting you for the first time, but you're going to talk to us a little <laughs> bit about allergies and why it shouldn't keep you indoors. Certainly. So allergies in general are when the body responds to something like pollen in a more severe way. The things that tend to keep us indoors are the symptoms, runny nose, itchy eyes, sneezing, and just feeling miserable. And it's notable more when you're outdoors, so patients often try and stay inside to avoid them. They can really ruin your day and your ability to get outside and enjoy things. I imagine so. So what, what can folks do about it? Because we can't just stay inside, especially in sunny Florida. Agreed. We want people to get outside in sunny Florida and everywhere. I agree with you. So really being aware of the pollen is important. Looking at the pollen counts, there's great websites like Claritin.com, and you can be aware of days when the counts are higher and work around that with your outdoor exposure. Doctors like myself recommend first line taking an antihistamine such as Claritin that's non-drowsy, powerful, and lasts 24 hours. These medicines help patients get outside and enjoy the day without having symptoms. And lastly, when someone's in for the day, when they're done being active and enjoying their day, showering at night, keeping the windows closed, um, being inside after a good day, and they can really minimize the effect of this pollen. These are a couple of things that I think are helpful. Kelly, is this something that's affected you as far as your singing? Absolutely. Um, before I was actually aware that I was having allergies, I just thought it was a cold. I was telling Dr. Fields that earlier because um, I would, you know, do the sneezing and my eyes would be itching and watering and everything. And I remember uh, actually trying to get to the studio and I was just ah, just going crazy. And um, a friend of mine's mom said, baby, what is going on? And I was like, I don't know what's going on. I said, I think I have a cold or a cold, getting a cold. She's like, and I told her my symptoms. She said, you're definitely an allergy sufferer. And um, she actually was the first person to give me Claritin. And um, I, yeah, been taking it ever since, ever since, you know, I've been aware of my allergies. And obviously, this is something that affects people, you know, whether you're going to be on stage singing or you're going mm -hmm. to work at whatever job you have. To I mean, work. You can feel pretty miserable and not be able to get anything done if you're sidelined by it. Yes. Now, yes. you want to yeah. feel like, like tired and everything. You want to be alert. And Kelly, you're mentoring right now some up-and-comers with, uh, with your latest project. So is that kind of something that you pass along to them, too, about their health and how they they need to be aware of these things? I'm teaching these girls about everything. <laughs> um, and it's been very exciting. Chasing Destiny um, is, of course, my show um, that I do alongside uh, my co-host, uh, Frank Gatson. And we have been having a blast with this show and educating the girls about themselves and working together and the music industry as a whole. and everything everything it's just been very really exciting and so hopefully people out there can tune in it's actually Tuesdays at 10 on BET well I know you have a lot of great lessons to share thank you both so much for joining us today thank you thank you thanks thank for having you. us